Hi guys, uh, this is Vishal here. So in this video, we will understand how to work with custom calculation right feed, right? So there are a lot of scenarios where you want to implement your own custom logic, your calculation, which may not be a simple multiply, divide or something, and you want to do a bit more complex calculation. So let's see how it can be done in trap code, right? So uh, when we say drive field, so drive field is something which is specific to a record or to an item and you want to do some calculation within the fields of that particular record. So here we have a, a collection called product. It has name, description, manufacturing date, image, price and shipping charge. Okay. Now let's say I want to calculate tax and tax is let's say some percentage of price. And I want to calculate total price, which will be price plus tax plus shipping charge. So let's see how that can be done. And I'll do both of these things using drive fields. Okay. So as of now, I have just one record, okay, which is product P1 and some description. Now let's go to the configuration. So I'll go to my drive fields and let's say tax. Let's, let's calculate the tax component. So I'll go to the methods and choose custom calculation. So this is what we will use to decide the custom calculation of the logic, right? Now I want uh, it to be my the price of the product. And let's say tax is 25% of the product price. So I'll say uh, I want to calculate tax. I'll need the fields. Okay, now I don't know what the name is. So what we'll do? We'll go to this green button and click the details. So here you will see the name of the fields, how we store it. So I'll go and calculate, uh, pick this price because we want to calculate tax on the basis of price. So I'll come here, I'll write these curly braces, double curly braces and copy this. So basically this will bring the value, a dynamic value on for the price of that particular product into let's say 0 0.25, which is 25%. Or we can say into 25 divided by 100. So anything. So it's it's like pure mathematical calculation. And then here you can choose that in which format you want to display. Whether you want to display in a uh, round like two decimal, three decimal, and all those things. Right. So let's display in just two decimals. And then create. As of now, you see this is how the table is displaying. Now let's display text field here. So I'll go to my page. And I'll say display one more field, which is text. Okay. Since we have created a new drive field, so it may not appear as it is. So we'll have to reload the page. Now, if I go to this, I can see this field text. So this is the drive field. It appears after these lines, okay, text, and that's all. So now let's go and see how this looks like. I reload this page. And you see it is actually showing me text with two decimal places because this is what I told it to do, in which is 25% of the price. Let's go and try adding uh, new products. I'll go and add a product. Let's say P2. This time I'll give some different price. Let's say 250. Shipping charge 100 rupees. I'll save it. Let's reload this page. So the 25% of 250 62.50. So it is basically dynamically calculating the tax on the price. Now you want to do a sum of price and shipping charge and tax that you can also do. You can create one more drive field where you do this logic. Let's say let's do it. I'll go to the drive field. I'll say let's say total price and I'll say custom calculation. So there are two ways to do it. Either you store the values of the drive field and then just do a normal sum on the fields or you can calculate it fresh so it's basically up to you here I am just calculating it again so I'll go to this green box and pick the name so price is price okay so I'll uh, put variables price plus 25 percent of price correct so price 
into 0 0.25 plus shipping charge which is shipping charge and then let's display it single decimal so here it's price plus 20 tax plus shipping charge and uh, just if you want to make sure that okay it works perfectly you can also add uh, round brackets so basically it follows the bond mass rule so it's, it's uh, this is saved now let's go and display total price same thing we'll go and add one more column after tax since we have added another dry field so we may need to reload or reset the table I'll reload so here I'll just duplicate this column we'll go to the settings and here you can see we are seeing this total price this is the exact same dry field which we have just created okay now save this come here and let's reload So here if you see it is showing me the total price which is this plus this plus this this plus this plus this so you can basically do multiplication division any form of uh, mathematical calculation using custom calculation drive fields hope this is clear now see you again in the next video bye bye